are watching the How to Import FDA Regulated Goods course. My name is Adriana Zamora. I'm joined here with Tara Eastep. I've been in the industry for 13 years, I'm all with PCB Inc. on the U.S. side, and I currently work in the Trade Compliance Department, and my specialty is FDA Regulated Goods, primarily food goods. I'm a licensed customs broker as well as a certified customs specialist. If it's regulated by FDA, it can also be regulated by another agency? Certainly. There's actually a number of commodities that are regulated by more than one government agency. Foreign facilities during registration do have to appoint what's called a U.S. FDA agent. ABC was at this address and we have an address in a completely different city. Those aren't going to match up in their system and that will also reject. Similar with the FSVP, which you hear a hazard analysis of your product and of the process when you're manufacturing it. It's going to set out preventative controls. You also have to list an oversight and management, how those controls are going to be implemented and monitored to ensure that they're going correctly, any training that would have to be required to ensure that those are done correctly, as well as a recall plan. FISMA is really focusing on preventative controls from farm to table. So we've seen that with the produce rule, we've seen it in the manufacturers at their facilities. You would need to also acquire or determine which type of customs bond you're going to be entering with. There are two types. You have a single entry bond and you have a continuous bond. Once a shipment's detained, you normally have two options. You can have it destroyed under FDA supervision or you can have it exported under FDA supervision. In line with that would be informing foreign suppliers of required documentation. Say that you have a manufacturer of food goods in China that is not familiar with the biennial registration or with FSVP verification and you now need information from them or they need to re-register. It's ultimately your obligation to reach out to them, make sure that they understand what's required of them, make sure that it's done, because as we discussed before, them not doing it may not affect them so much, but it is going to affect you. It's going to affect your relationship with your clients, with your broker, and potentially with FDA and U.S. Customs, and you really don't want that on any of those levels. Okay, well that covers the whole course for today. We hope that you learned a lot, I know I did, on how to import FDA regulated products into the U.S. So we hope to see you in other courses and if you would like to attend any other courses, we hope to see you there.